What's up everybody? We are on our way right now to the Chateau de, che Chateau de Cheverny and um, it's very famous also for C'est quoi Hergé, c'est ça? So the creator of Tintin I don't know if you guys all know about Tintin but it's a very famous uh, like drawing Donc la personne Hergé est, vie, est née ici enfin non, a, a vécu ici, c'est ça? Mais... I guess uh, Hergé lived here for a while and uh, that's why you have kind of uh, kind of uh, his drawing of Tintin uh, in a uh, in few in few windows like this one alright guys so the very why is Chevrani is very famous in France is because this area was before um, a hunting a hunting space for all the kings and stuff so I think you can hear it already but what is also famous here is the feeding dog part so at 11.30 kind of in a half an hour they are here and they feed the dogs so we're gonna assist to that event and look at these dogs they are huge they are so big look at that So in this building, so you have this, this one just right here, we where the marquee is still living in. So we have the other part, so the biggest part here, where we can all visit now. We are heading to Orangerie. So it's where every, everyone is eating. It's like a huge terrace and. This castle was built in the 18th century, so it's like more than than three centuries. And they are still living in the marquee, and the the children's children's children still living here. So that's quite amazing. So guys, we just arrived. Right. We just arrived at the Chateau de Chambord. 
So the thing is that we took this little uh, so description and we had as well an iPad for uh, all the visits. Um, so in the for the um, historic park, so this castle was built uh, in the 16th century. So it was built uh, with it was built under François Ier. So he was like just managing the construction. And after that, he lived inside uh, only 30, 38 years, but he reigned 30, 32 years. So it's like once, once per, per year, like one, oh yeah, once per year. So it's like nothing. So guys, here we are at the Chateau, Chateau de Chambord. Chambord. So this the castle of the Chambord. Castle of Chambord. C'est ça? Chambord Castle. Bah castle voilà, of Chambord. C'est pareil. C'est pareil. Pareil. Bah voilà. Tu... Now you can access to the to the garden because it's only open from the 1st of April. So we are really lucky. It's very sunny and the garden is open. So here we go. So I recommend everyone to take this kind of iPad. So it's teaching you as well the, the history of the uh, Ch uh, Chateau de Chambord. So after the um, after François Ier won a war at the Marie, I don't know what, what war, he created this castle. In the beginning, it was only one floor. So now there is many floors, as you can see. So he started to build this building in, nine, in 1590, but the war was won uh, around the 1515. So very interesting, we'll keep going. Guys, that thing is so interesting. So there is kind of a mini game inside and as soon as you scan this little piece you are kind of back in time and you are playing like a game of that and it's kind of a virtual reality so as soon as you scan everything with the iPad everything is going like before it's really really amazing Look at that. So, here's so much different thing, right? <laughs> so fucking scary. There's like, no, no, there's no. a ghost. No. What? There's a ghost! What? electric electric uh, car I hope it's not that expensive I think it's around 11 euro but um anyways I hope we are, will be on time to 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 to, to borrow this uh, this car <laughs> In my last minute of life, because she's driving and she doesn't have the driving license. I'll see you in next life, guys. Adios. <laughs> Adieu. I love you guys. Uh, it's the end of my life. Uh, yeah, so goodbye, guys. I love you so much. Thank you for the subscribers. Th thank you for the like, for the for the comments and uh <laughs> you can't, you can't. No! I have nothing to handle I have no handle
capture the moment guys so the thing is that Chambord is actually I just read it so oh shit. so the thing is the thing is that Chambord the size of Chambord is as big as big okay as big as Paris is so can you imagine the size of Chambord so actually what I what I showed you is actually only the the, the, the the what you can see around here so it's kind of amazing how big it is uh, so yeah so let's go continue the time-lapse